Hi, welcome back. Uh, my name's Jen. This is Paul. Kia ora. And we're back with another mini bite-sized yoga rhapsody practice. And today's focus is going to be around the neck. Now, I don't know what your days are like at the moment. If you have children, I'm sure the last thing that you've been doing is sitting around a lot. But for some of us, we might be sitting a bit more than usual. And you might have started to feel a slight shortening, maybe at the back of the legs, maybe a little bit of backache somewhere along the spine. You might also be feeling tension in the neck and the shoulders. It could be that you are using the screen a little bit more than usual too. I know that I am. Um, so that when we are down looking at our phone scrolling, we'll notice that our head comes out of alignment. We're dropping the chin. When we're using our screens, again, the head moves forward and it's a lot of weight for the neck to look after. We might notice that these muscles in the back of the neck kind of start to lock long and weaken and then the muscles in the front of the neck shorten. So what we want to try and do today is bring these muscles on board so we make them more responsive and we'll try and bring our head back into alignment and build that muscle memory so that we remember where our head should be in space. Hopefully this will bring a bit of mobility and space and ease around this area. So see how you go. And uh, you can do this sitting down, you can do it standing up, doesn't matter. But just be kind and gentle. So we're gonna begin just by bringing your index finger to your chin. And you don't wanna press the chin too much. This is just I guess a wee bit of a marker so that we understand where our head is in space right now. And then I'm going to ask you to do something really glamorous and send your head back in space and create a double chin. Excuse my voice. Spend another moment here. <laughs> and now bring your chin forward back towards your finger. So you might start to already feel where you have been with your head in space and then we'll go back again so chin back still space from the chest but we're here long enough and there is quite a bit of effort in this press back the base of the skull moving towards the wall behind you and spend a few breaths here till you feel the muscles around the back of the neck kind of turn on try not to frown like me I know it's not glamorous but no one's looking. <laughs> Take another breath. Go cool, and then we'll bring our chin back to meet our finger. Hopefully finger stayed in place. And we'll do it one more time. Let's come back. Can you stay for five breaths? <laughs> Relax the shoulders. Relax the belly. Great, and then bring your head back. Let's take our hand away and start to draw circles now with your chin. Imagine you've got a pen on the end of your chin. Draw a circle on the wall in front of you. Keep the shoulders soft. Let's go in the other direction. And I want you to keep your mind close to what you can feel in the neck. Where in the neck does it feel a little bit icky, a little bit tight, tense? Where it feels a little bit short on the opposite side. When you've found that spot, I'm going to ask you just to stay there for a minute. Okay, listen carefully. We're going to send our chin about 5 or 10 degrees towards the center. And then notice that side of the face that's closest to the body. You're going to use the hand on the outer side and press into your head. I'm going to ask you to challenge this hand and press into your hand with the same effort. We're going to stay here for three breaths. your hand there but just relax everything all right let's go again press in radios on in the moving round please check my look in the mirror and relax want to change my clothes my hair my face the time let's press 
The muscle that feels short should be doing the work. Keep the belly soft. Beautiful, release the hands. Come back to center. And then draw the circle again. So as you draw your circle, you might notice things have changed. It might be the same. You might now notice that the other side has that slight short tense feeling. And you're more than welcome to revisit these places until that you, till you feel that you've got a lot more space. All right, we're going to keep moving though. And I'm going to now send my gaze over the right shoulder. As I do this, I'm looking for a nice long spine. Sides of the body stay long. Ribs soften in slightly so the core's on. And my ears, I'm trying to keep in line as I take my eyes, my face with me. And I can start to feel this side of the neck work. There's a weak compression in the other side. Shoulders relax as best as they can. And then we'll work these muscles again by bringing the gaze forward. Sending left hand to the floor or hovering. Bring it to somewhere actually, whether it's your hip or the floor. And we'll bring the right hand to the left side of the head. And I'm just going to ask you to press. Press into your hand, press your hand towards your head. Then you can lift the fingers and reach. Take another breath. Fingers come back to the floor. We'll take other hand to the floor or your lap. Keeping your head where it is, can you just let the shoulders melt away? And then your chin is just going to roll towards your armpit. Feel a nice stretch now through the back of the neck. Keep your head in this at this angle and send the chin up towards the sky. And you should feel this now through this side at the front. Great, we'll bring our gaze back. Do this on the other side, moving slightly quicker. Let's bring our eyes over. On the streets of this town. Press down, nice long spine, ears level. Be you up right. you see, you stay Another breath. Well, hey, baby, just about starving tonight. I'm down Come back to so center. Much. Let's take the other Sick side. Here, to Press, hand to head. Reaction. Head to hand. Come on, baby, give me. Float the fingers and reach. Can't start a fire without the sensation all the way down through the arm. Even if I stay in the dark, let go. Can't start a fire. Ear to shoulder. Sitting around crying over a broken heart. This chin to armpit. Even if I stay in the dark, chin to sky. Great, and then bringing the eyes back to center. You should start to feel now, different sensation. Last bit, all we're gonna do is bring hands to the back of the head so you can press into the hands. Keep pressing as you send your chin up towards the sky. Take the weight off my shoulders. Breathe into the belly. The laugh song. Gaze comes forward, keep into fingers interlaced, last press, press into the fingers, feel the hands rise, keep pressing down through the chin. Stay on the streets of this town, we'll be carving you up all right, you see you gotta stay home. Cool. Let the hands come to hey, your knees, just about close the eyes. Maybe a circle in one direction. And a circle in the other direction. Come on, baby, give me just one look. Can't start a fire. Roll the shoulders back. Can't start a fire without the shoulders forward. This gun's for high. Roll them back. Even if we're just dancing in the dark. 
right shoulder blades down, close the eyes. Thank you so much, from our hearts to yours, namaste.